everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Uh, my base coat is just going to be Blick Black. You can see I've put it around the um, edges and the corners. Um, I'm going to be doing just a regular straight pour here today, mostly metallics. So let's go over my paints. My first paint is going to be just the Blick Metallic Copper. My next paint is also going to be the Blick Metallic Gold. My next paint is going to be Deco Art Metallics, and this is their Pearl. My next paint is Rust Oleum Metallic Accents, this is their Ruby. Very pretty red color. My next paint is uh, the Blick Metallic Silver. And my next color is a color that I made up that I call Mysterious. It is a combination of four different paints. I will list all the paints used um, in the description. And I will show you the consistency with that paint. It is quite thick today because I do wanna um, try and differ differentiate between colors as I do my straight pour. And my last paint is a question because it is a green paint that I had left over. I thought I'd throw that in the mix also. My pouring medium today is um, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and also a squirt of the Liquitex pouring medium, the gloss pouring medium. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I'm going to put some of these uh, paint bottles away, get my cup, and when we come back, I'll start pouring in the cup. Okay, everybody, uh, we're back, and here's the cup I'm going to fill. I am doing a voiceover for this segment of the um, video, and I have sped it up by three times the normal um, speed, just so the video isn't uh, too long to watch. But anyway, I'm just uh, layering the cup here. Just being mindful of uh, trying to get like a light color and then a dark color and also trying to keep that green away from the red. And there is that color Mysterious that I made up and the silver. I did end up getting two layers um, of each color in my cup. That's what I strived for. That's that pearl color from DecoArt and the copper from Blick. I am pretty happy with um, the Blick paints. In general, they are a, um, a really good um, paint to purchase for someone just starting out. The price is, um, is really reasonable on these paints and they are a good quality paint also. There is that ruby color, and as you're going to see later on in the video, that ruby color, I think, really did save the painting. Just finishing up here, and there's the silver, Blick Silver. And the balance of that mysterious paint. And I'm just showing you the cup there. It is pretty full. I did have plenty of paint. Here I just lay down my puddle, the base coat puddle paint there. I thought that this, this looked so pretty. I hated to even have to tip it. 
the, the results of it, all the colors just look so pretty together here. Just giving it a quick torch to get rid of some air bubbles. Here I'm putting down just what's called the flow extender. It is the base coat, but it will help my paint move and it will um, help the paint to not roll over on itself. That base coat will actually help push that paint off the edge of the canvas and you won't lose any of your colors there. Okay, just going to start the tipping process here, and I'm just going to go over this corner. Just I try and keep in mind at this point what I see that I want to keep and what I can afford to let uh, go over the edges. And as you can see, I use a little plastic sheet here because I didn't want to lose anything on that corner. I just thought the effects were so pretty that I wanted to keep them on that painting. And I'm tipping to this corner now. Trying to bring the center back, back towards the center again before I tip some more. And again, I'm using that plastic sheet in the corner because again, I liked what was there and I didn't want to lose it. Now at this point, I'm going to take a good look at it because there is quite a bit of paint on my canvas yet. And I have to decide what do I want to tip off. And I did want to tip off very carefully some of that copper there. And at this point, I decided I could tip off some of that blue. There was quite a bit on there. So that's what I'm doing there. And now in hindsight, I think that I should not have used the green in this painting. I don't think it really added that much to the painting. And this is the area that I am trying to tip off here without losing any of those fingerlings, they're called. At least that's what I call them, fingerlings. It's one of the effects you get from this type of pour. Now I'm taking a good look at it. And now I'm going to try and just tip a little bit more of that green and that copper off there very carefully. Just checking the composition of the painting. And I do like how um, that area where that pearl is there, how that was drawn out. I, li I like that effect a lot. I'm just looking at it again. Just getting the composition the way I, I really like it. Cleaning off the bottoms and the corners. Checking the corners of the painting. Giving it a quick torch. And then we will get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, I'm going to bring you in for our close-up, and I'm trying to show you the whole painting here. Again, this is a six, 
a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I did a straight pour on. And I am just, I am so happy with the results. And I will point out the parts I like. This is the orientation I think it should be. This is the upper left-hand corner. And right, I just love how I got all these striations like in here with that ruby. So pretty. This is what I tried to pour off. It is that copper and some gold in there. But um, I could not pour any more off without losing some of these uh, effects that I got with the other paint. So this is what I left on. Again, just going down the left-hand side here. These paints just played so beautifully together. This is one of my favorite spots in here. Just how that, the ruby is just beautiful in there. And I do really like this lower left-hand corner and that's why I used those guides on the corners when I was tipping my paint to keep that that effect right there that's what I liked just a lot of really pretty areas here and there is really the center the center of what I poured there Pretty interesting. All those fingers. The stripe just the stripes just stayed so crisp on this painting. Nice area in here. This is the lower right hand corner. And I did want to keep that, not, not pour it off. Now this blue color is that mysterious. And again, check in the description and you will see uh, what four paints make up that mysterious color. And in here, this is really, really pretty in here. And then this is the upper right hand corner which I do like that corner also and I am glad that I have these big big areas of that mysterious color kind of sets off the painting so let me know what you think of this video give me a thumbs up if you like it make sure you share it ring the bell choose all so you'll know the next time I do post a new video thanks for spending time with me today I do appreciate it Thanks to all my subscribers and my watchers. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.